What is going on guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join myself and Rob down the famous linear fisheries and we're on um, Hardwick and Smiths and um, what was it, peg three? Peg two and three? Two and three, two and three. I'm on three, Rob's in two and um, rods are out three rods on the dance floor i've got two on bottom baits and i've just put one on zigs and i'll tell you why i put one on zigs in a second um but it's looking really good and i've just had two fish two chunks absolutely bosh straight over the top of me so i'm here absolutely jumping with joy <laughs> fingers crossed they can drop down and we can nick one but um in typical rob fashion i've got to do this now in typical rob fashion uh, <laughs> After five minutes of putting a zig out, it roars off and he catches this scaly banger. Check this out. Get in there, mate. So, how did you have it? It was a ten, nine to ten foot zig. Yeah. Soaked in a flat spot, black foam. And um, just chucked it out, just past my baiting spot. And, uh, about five, ten minutes later, that, after that, then um, this beauty landed it. Come over, mate. Look at that. It looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? What a fish, mate. First one from Hardwick. So it's your first time fishing yeah. this particular first, lake, isn't it? First time on Hardwick. Yeah. First scaly carp. Yeah, lovely. Might not be a 20, but hey. How big should we give it? Okay, it's one of like that. Um, I would say 15, maybe. 15. Maybe. Can we show us the other side? It's not big. And that there is the other side. Just as beautiful. Massive apple slice scales up it. Mate, yeah. well happy for you. Quite Get good. in there, mate. Yeah. Good angling. Rob does it again. <laughs> Come on, more, can you? <laughs> <laughs> happy days, happy what a fish days. it was, and well done, Rob. That's good angling. Absolutely smashed it. Typical Rob fashion. And if you didn't know, Rob is one of our Parker Bates ambassadors as well. So we nicked one very early and that's sort of where we're at at the video now. Being with that, I've then put a zig out exactly the same depth, nine foot fish just bossed right over the back over the, um, I've seen a gentleman in front of me uh, nick one on sort of the point swim off fishing off the side of it. He's had one on already and the fish just bossed directly over the top of it. But I'm here for the next at least 48 hours. Um, I've paid for 48 hours, but I can always add an additional night on. I've got to be off this particular peg for Friday because someone's booked it, but I think Rob is going to stay on. I'm actually going to another lake. So that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. That's who I'm with. Obviously, I'm armed with Parker Bates, and very quickly, if you haven't seen me before, my name's Ben. We upload every Sunday, 7.30, to the Parker Brothers YouTube channel. I always premiere a video so everybody can join in. There's a live chat. It's all good. Everybody's on the same wavelength. There's some good banter chucked in the works as well, which is quite good. So if you're, if you're free on a Sunday evening, make sure you click that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward, and hopefully me and Rob can bring you an absolute banger. Come on the carp, and come on the nosser pigs, and come on the Parker Bates. <laughs> You're not. You're... No. no. Oh no. It drop back again, though. Gutted. Unlucky, mate. Get it back out, though. That's, twice like that, is that? That's strange, isn't it? Twice he's yeah, had that. Very weird. Get that rod back out, son. Well, we both said we were going to have a uh, little nap for an hour, and it literally has been an hour. And I've heard his rod absolutely crank off. Turn around, look at this. This this kid, this bloke, is an absolute animal. <laughs> Come on then, mate. Zig again? Yeah, same rod. Same rod? Just a little bit more to the right because I put that middle rod. So quite close in then? Yeah. This is what I was saying. That's probably about 15 to 16 wraps. It's just after. But it feels a little bit better. So black foam again. Black foam again. This one was just ten foot instead of nine. I checked out. So nine out of ten foot. Happy days, mate. Right. Yes. Well, well, I'll help you get this one in. Rob's the man who can. The not a pig capturer. <laughs> come on the carp and come on the Parker Bates. <laughs> Putting a proper account up for itself, mate, isn't it? It really doesn't. Really, really doesn't. He's got to be playing this now, I don't know. 
seven, eight minutes, maybe it's nine minutes, maybe long. Time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. We've both been standing here, and that uh, fish just flopped right over the back there. We've both been standing, and it flicked off his fin. Go! <laughs> we both my looked at each other like, "Oh my god!" Get in the comments down below whether you've had that happen to you. You've been fishing, and it's flicked off the back of that dorsal, whatever. Did you see him? See its belly. He's starting to give up, I think, isn't he? Oh yeah. That lead don't help though, does it? Yeah, it's a good fish. Real pretty one, mate. Real, real pretty one. Reminds me of Dean's. Yeah, <laughs> seeing him like that. Yeah, you know. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, boy. <laughs> what a fight. And what a fish he's got on the end. I don't want to um, put him off or anything. Motorbikes, cars. It's all happening here at the moment. Come on, mate. <laughs> Twitchy stuff. Hate playing good ones on zigs. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know if you got that, guys, but Robbie's actually fishing. Uh, it's about 10 foot zig. Black foam with the flat spot on it, soaked in the flat spot. He does this, he's got his little jar and he's soaked it in that oil for a long, long time, haven't you now? Probably since it first came out and he uses it every time, reuses re the foam, pops it back in the pot when he's done with that particular bit of foam and then reuses it next time over and over again. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate, that is a good fish. Yeah. It's just a pretty one. Look at the state of that. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on, Rob. Do not lose that now. <laughs> Do not lose that. Oh, he's going to bury right down, doesn't he? Trying to flick. Oh, my God. Look at that, mate. <laughs> That's got to be the prettiest fish I've seen come out of here. You get this in. No pressure. Oh. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on. Get in that net. Lift it up. Oh, yes. Get in there. Oh, man. Well done. Absolutely smashed it. Proper not a pig. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you look at that thing? It's just incredible. Look at those scales. That is mental, isn't it? It's got like a double lin down it. It's just the one side. Wow, Ooh. wow, wow. <laughs> right, some sort of carp care on the mouth. There's a little tear on that. Would you look at this? It's pupping out. That's OG fish and OG fruit and nut and pellets. Pellets there. OG fish, OG fish, that is exactly his mix. He's caught this fish on his egg, so it just goes to show that fish has been feed on the bottom. Fact. But he's caught it on his egg. How strange. But fair play. <laughs> Right, and how I've held up for three years not fishing hardwick and smiths, I'll never know, but <laughs> if, no doubt, my best looking carp I have ever, ever, ever had, and I suppose it's not often I'm lost for words, but this, I mean, just look at it, hey? wow. it's crazy. M mate, unbelievable, scales upon scales and upon scales. It's dark, it's just... <laughs> it's everything you want in a carp, isn't it? Unbelievable. Well, that last one was nice, but hey... <laughs> Just over, no, just under 24, so, wasn't yeah, it? Smidgen under 24 pound, but again, it doesn't matter about the weight, mate, does it? Like, you know, 10 pound, when they look like that. 
Mate, absolutely smashed it. I guess we'll show them the other side and then we'll get it back. Yeah, there's the other side. Probably just as good as Logan as the other side, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's you can't do, laugh mate can you with joy because it is just a beautiful thing i mean look at that look at that i've never had anything like this in my life honestly this is what linear fisheries is all about and this is why we drive the time we do to get here mate isn't it right fair play just very quickly mate what did you have it on uh zig again this one being a 10 foot and same again, black uh, black foam, flat spots. Lovely, mate. Just a foot bigger than the last zig, and... <laughs> He's done it again. <laughs> Let's get her back. Nothing to say, nothing to say. Oh. Mate, you can blank now. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Right, wow. Um, I did tell you, but when Rob was over there playing, his fish actually come back, had a real randy take. Got back, bobbing down, so I've come up, reeled the rod back in, punched it back on the spot. Rod's back out on the money, so I've got a zig, bottom bait, bottom bait at the moment, fishing towards sort of my skyline over the back there. There's like this big, green tree in the background in the far distance some sort of line up with that so I'm fishing quite tight but yeah I'm absolutely buzzing for Rob I really am I, you know, I get I get off on it as as much as the person catching it and that was just a fish that was a pleasure to see like come on <laughs> like I just can't get over that that's just absolutely crazy again probably the prettiest fish I've seen come out of Hardwick, Hardwick and potentially definitely even the venue you know granted it wasn't the biggest fish in the world but like i said to rob it doesn't matter if they're 13 pound they look like that that was just unbelievable mind-blowing is an understatement so that's the update for now what is the title mate uh, 10, to 5. 10 to 5 so 10 to 5 fingers crossed come on then also pigs <laughs> So a little update, before the rain, I did manage to get the rods out, I didn't record it, I put a few spoms out over the top, rods went out absolutely beautiful, again I stuck to the same baits, I just boosted them up the flat spot, and the right hand rods on a zig, so fingers crossed, the rain has come in, certainly come in, it's absolutely smashing it down out there now, but to be honest, it's quite nice because it hasn't rained in the UK for a long long time has it mate? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. So there it is. Uh, I'll probably touch base with you. I want to do some foodie bits for dinner. I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, I thought I'd go a little bit different We're using Rob's pan because my cooker's broke. But look what I've got there. So I've got two pizzas. They're in like the bakery aisle and Lidl's, and I think they're like 79p each or something. They look absolutely banging. So I thought we'll warm them through. I don't know how this is going to come out. It might be terrible, but I'll soon let you know. And also, I've got these. Let it focus, they're like little bread, I think pesto, sexy, tomato, delight. Look at that. <laughs> Forgot one of them each. One of them each, one of them each. Let's see how this comes out. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Well, mate, Chris would be proud, I tell you. They've come out pretty damn good. Don't they, Rob? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they look nice. Happy days, right. Time to divulge. Wow, number two. Look at them. What do you reckon they are, Rob? I think it's green pesto. Yeah. Some, uh, some dried tomatoes and goat's cheese, if I can think that. I think it is. Well, I didn't even uh, look at the label, they just look nice. <laughs> so I bought a couple, but they're looking pretty good. Oh, come on, Ben. Almost. Almost. Flip that round. Do the other sides for a bit. And to be fair, my pizza's gone. What do you think of that, mate? Mm. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> well, I 100% recommend doing that if you get a chance. You're flying past Lidl on the way to a fishing trip. Go to the bakery bit and just grab some. Bit of ketchup on that, bish bash bosh. That is going to be lovely. With a view, but it's raining. <laughs> Well, I didn't tell Rob, but I went one step further. Two cinnamon rolls, fresh. I don't know how much they were, but look at them, mate. <whistles> well, it's just gone eight o'clock. And 
and look at that, the flat spot is working dreams over there, so fingers crossed they drop down and they have a proper munch. Fishing out towards, if I pull back on the camera, a terrible video. This tree here, I've got three rods very tight, my right hand rod's actually fishing right off the back of the spot, probably around 19 wraps. But yeah, look at that, absolutely mega. Come on the carp. Well, it's getting on now, believe it or not. The camera's making it look really light, but I just bailed my two rods and I've actually put my a rod lengths further. Found there's quite a bit of weed after reeling in. I don't know what will possess me to do it with my left arrow for now. Just pull it back, pull it back, crunch, loads of weed. Would explain the soft air drop I got earlier. So there's obviously patches out there. So what I've done is to try and eliminate that, I just fish a little bit further out. So instead of 15, just under 15 it was, where I got the donks originally. But now I'm at fishing 16 and 15 and a half because it's actually clearer in the middle of the tree. You start fishing to the left, I think it's more weedy, so the weed must come in like so, something like that. But yeah confident going in tonight but I honestly think it's going to be early hours tomorrow everybody's been saying recently it's just been going off between sort of like five in the morning till nine the two blokes that are on here this peg and Rob's peg said exactly the same this was last night and they had a couple so fingers crossed it's the last time you're going to see me till oh hopefully very soon but if not I'll touch base with you in the morning because I'm absolutely knackered it's been a busy day busy morning just like I said, hopefully I'll get woken up by a fish. See you in a bit. Well, I've left this guy for two minutes. <laughs> literally two minutes. And he's gone and got one. The night went, oh no, come off. No. Well, <laughs> I'm not holding a fish. It didn't 100% go to plan. Um, but to be honest, let me keep you in the loop of the morning. It's been a bit of a mad morning. I sort of got up at five text Rob and um, for probably about two hours I was locked in the water then I got about an hour's sleep again and then Rob come round and he was like this must have been what time was that mate what do you reckon uh, half six and half is. six um, he's come over and sort of said mate they're boshing and boshing and boshing and boshing and boshing out and they were they were relentless the other side um, throughout the morning when I was watching them but they sort of moved ever so slightly to the left sort of just to the left of the, there's a point uh, the, the swim on the point on the right hand side towards smith side just to the left of that is where these fish have been shown so i thought you know what i'm gonna punch a zig over there so i did and um yeah that that's where we sort of were in the video when rob come back he quickly walked back to his thing like, mate i'm in i was playing it for a little while um and yeah like i say the hook pulled and it is what it is but what i have done is now is reacted to that and that's where we are exactly now in the video because the last sort of hour I've frantically been sort of making fresh zigs and uh, making them perfect and putting them out there on the mark. i've just cast my last rod there right i've kept one on the bottom but i've got two now on zigs and one on the bottom my right hand rod has just went out absolutely beautiful and i mean beautiful um, it's sort of the zig was sort of flying through the air lovely so I know I'm present here I know I'm fishing nice little bit of foam on there black, uh, black foam bit of flat spot with a sliver of yellow on the top with little red um, and that's what I had on the other one to be fair little red uh, bait stops now I, don't, I can't even remember where I've got them from you probably just get them online but these little red ones give that nice little bit of fleck on top of the, the zig and I, and I think it gives you a little bit of an edge so that is where we're at nothing through the night fish is just boshed there in front of us <laughs> nothing through the night um you had any beeps anything or good night's sleep good night's <laughs> sleep yeah good night camping sleep so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the gentleman in front of us is now packing up which is going to make the fish uh, hopefully not pack over there but hopefully they move because this wind is just howling at us we've got a southwesterly <coughs> coming in it's looking absolutely mega out there for a bite today so fingers crossed we can make it happen and obviously i'll keep you in the loop throughout the day i'll see you in a bit well the sides are up i'm just going to get another hour of sleep quick because like i said i was up in the middle of that commotion and then seeing the fish so i'm just going to recharge for an hour but the wind's trickling in the middle rods out on a the zig they're all on zigs and uh, fingers crossed this fish still boshing out there mate it's looking absolutely mega I think two people are about to jump in them two pegs over there so that might help push the fish 
our way. Fingers crossed. Uh -uh. Sit down on it. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one for spiders. Is that like him? No. Not that big. Rodney the spider. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon roll time, I think. Oh no. What happened to the eggs, mate? Huh. Touch your subject. Touch your subject. I did have a pack of six and I got one. <laughs> and five cracked eggs in my bivvy. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Not good. No. Well, that is the bacon on in my new ridge monkey, thanks to Ricky. Cheers, mate. Bacon's in there. Look at the size of this. <laughs> bacon rolls absolutely demolished. Very nice, too. And this fish lumping right off the back of this spot, but there's relentless and there's loads, loads showing right off the back still. I'm going to keep locked on and hopefully something happens. Right, well, it's getting on, it's nearly five o'clock and the whole day we've just been locked onto the water. Honestly, like, just did not stop watching the water. The wind's howling in and it's finally happened but it's not looking good because um, Rob's just said to me she's locked up in the weeds so if I turn you around what's going on then mate? It was going well and then two minutes into the fight straight into the weeds and it's, it's on the zig so I don't want to pull too hard well yeah. fingers crossed you can hold on and it breaks through mate eh? Hopefully. hopefully it's not good it's not good it's come off just getting him a hook sharpener now and um, he's going to sharpen off his hook because that's gone blunt and then Rod's going straight back out there's still fit even when he was playing the fish there was fish relentlessly showing all around his spot so Rob's magic concoction so what you got there mate the flat spot flat spot the one and only it's already been soaking in that for weeks yeah. anyway and um, he tops it up with the magic dust you get thousands of different little food particles around now if you put that on your hand. Hopefully you can see that guys. Yeah, fair play mate. Nice. Hopefully Bit of hook. foam on the hook. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty much how we've both been fishing mate, isn't it? Yeah. I mean we had six zigs out earlier, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> So where's our pizzas then, mate? Oh, um, not here. Not where they should be. <laughs> but yeah, no more pizzas, no more headaches. We called for about how many times? How many times did we call? Good ten. Ten times. We were looking for about hour. half an hour. So we resulted to this. Some special stuff. Some lovely special stuff, mate. You say your mum's made you this? Yes. Chili. So yeah. we've got a lovely chilli from Rob's mum. We've added a bit of sweet corn to this. We failed to get any cheese, me or Rob. <laughs> and um, we got a sort of an Uncle Ben's rice in there. We've added sweet corn to bulk it out. So we're using sweet corn in the mix, why not? <laughs> um, we're going to have it with Doritos, which is going to be tasty. But yeah, no pizzas, but a lovely, lovely chilli. We're going to have this tomorrow night. Um, tonight, sorry. And... Uh, we thought, nah, we'll get a takeaway, we'll get a takeaway. It's been a busy day, busy, busy day, just locked onto the water and spawning and chasing fish and making zigs and up and down and jumping and watching the water. But yeah, that is dinner for this evening. I'll keep you posted when it's done. <laughs> I've got nothing to say today. No pizzas, I'm not happy. <laughs> well, that is the final result. And I've just had a little mouthful of mine. It's absolutely beautiful. Doritos and all with a view wow <laughs> <laughs> lovely jubbly let's enjoy mate look at this looks good it does look good so really simple fishing on that left hand rod tonight just a OG fish 15 mil washed out pink pop up 7 inch boom big old lead there and I'm just pushing the rubber on so it comes off sorry about the terrible video in there but left hand rod that is and that's going to go out over here and the reason I'm not going to put I'm going to put a couple of spoms over it, but I'm going to fish that as a single with a bit of foam. So when it hits the deck, it goes like that. 
and when the foam breaks down it slowly then puts it over because I do think there's a little bit of surface weed over there like silkweed and that then will get your presentation lovely with that two bits of foam so that's why I'm not going to opt for no um, little mesh bag full of pellets or anything so that's the plan of action let's get this rod out for this evening on the top of that tree at 16 wraps So rod number two, very, very similar setup, seven inch boom with no putty on there and a tiny little wafter and actually sits because I've tested it on the back of the hook just like that, absolutely beautiful. And again, if I fish two bits of foam, you get that effect again, so it will sit bolt upright and then slowly drop down and I'll be fishing on top of that silkweed. So let's get this second rod out, happy days. Right, wow, it took me two attempts. I did get a drop on the first one. It was perfect on point, but I didn't, I, the drop was quite a soft drop. So I thought, look, it's gonna be out all night, redo it, Ben, so I did. Second time on the money clip, and I got a slightly harder donk. But again, I am fishing. It's not as rock hard as I would like it to be, but I am fishing that foam and doubling up my foam. I normally fish one bit of foam and I'm fishing at range or whatever, really, but I put two on for that reason, that it sits up erect, and like I said, then drops down for being that you're fishing a boom. Boom, on top of that slight little bit of surface silt. Because the reason I know that I'm fishing on that, so what I do is I push my tip down and I, st I just pull a foot. And just around the hook of the eye, there's a little bit of silt, just a little bit of silt with it. And, and I really it's because I can to pull it over any sort of further wee beds in front of that as I'm reeling it in. And then you know what you've got on your hook is normally what you're sitting on. So that's that's how I would sort of, how I, how I do that, how I've done that. But yeah, I'm happy with them too. Definitely going to top up with a couple of swans. Not going to go crazy, and then obviously then I can top up throughout the night if I have any more. The right hand rod, I'm not going to record, guys. I am going to put on a zig, and I'm going to play about that. It's going to be like a scouter rod for me tonight. Anybody that watches the channel knows I normally have a rod. If I'm ever fishing three rods on a venue, I normally fish two on a spot and a scouter rod, unless I'm 100% there's fish on the spot, and then obviously they would stay there. But yeah. That's that's where I'm at now. That's where I'm with, with the rods, and like I said, very shortly, like I said, I'm going to get that third rod out, and I think I'm going to fish a slightly shorter zig. But like I said, I'm not going to record that, guys, and I'll touch base here in a little bit. Right, 
well, that's it for me. Was back at his bivvy or going back to his bivvy. Had a few beeps on my left hand right, proper aggressive liners, bob and pulled up, dropped back down. Probably about 25 minutes ago, something like that. So I think they're out there. Come on the carp. Fresh coffee in the morning, baby. Fresh is fresh. Just a little bit more. You think I've already had a coffee, but I haven't. We'll be coming to the Parker Bates website very soon, niece, and I'm going to do a video on him, and so is Lee. But yeah, what a bit of kit. And make sure a lovely fresh coffee. Real time it is now. Coming up to 11 o'clock, believe it or not, and it hasn't happened, it hasn't happened. Very frustrating this morning, seeing a lot of fish show. Even a couple of fish were directly over the top of me, playing about with zigs, um, chasing a little bit this morning, I think, to a degree, but happy with what I was doing, and it just didn't happen. Fish, a load of fish shown to my right, over Rob's area as well. Again, Rob's not had anything last night, and I haven't really heard much. The gentleman two up had one, one just over 30 pound which is absolutely beautiful we didn't get any footage of that guys so i don't know the gentleman but two lovely blokes next door to us but yeah i'm sat out here now i've just cooked a bacon roll i've had mine i've got one for rob there sat there a little bit of ketchup in it watching the swans in front of me this this morning was beautiful there was a herring come over it was just a lovely place to be and that's another thing up here the only thing i would say about this particular bank is you've got that road behind you and as from about six o'clock onwards <sighs> As you can hear in the background now, that's quite relentless to be honest. And um, the only thing I don't like about these particular swims, but the fishing kind of makes up for it if the fish are playing ball, which they're not at the moment. <laughs> we won't talk about that. But what I think I will do is today, guys, I'll probably touch on a bit of our baiting approach. I think Rob's going to go over his mix and how he's been fishing that. A few new products as well, one of them being Himalayan pink, 100% pure crystallised Himalayan rock salt which is the cheapest I've ever seen it online to be honest with you and that's at the Parker Bay store and I'm going to touch on that how we use the flat spot again we'll probably touch on that as well and the actual flat spot product but there it is I'm going to leave it at that for now and um, sit back as I always say lock onto the water and act upon any necess necessary shows or react to anything I think that's going to potentially put a fish on the bank whether that be fizzing relent the shows on the same spot playing about with zigs playing about with bottom baits and there's Rob, Rob now in front of me here for his bacon roll so <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that and I will touch base with you after midday I would imagine now see you in a bit It's been a very, 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 very long day for me, to be honest. I've been up since first light, sort of blocked onto the water down there, playing about with different things. Then I started fishing long because I started seeing fish long. Found a nice 
nice spot, put some bait on it, tried it for another couple of hours, nothing, and I thought, you know what, I'm just, I'm sat there right by the tip of my rods down the other end, I'm looking out and I can just see fish relentlessly showing. Typical ever since I've been down, I haven't seen much show at all, but the fish have been down here, they have been in their numbers, down here in their numbers for the duration of the last couple of days. So we're having a nice coffee now, me and Rob. I have moved, I've moved everything down, it was a bit of a mission took a while to be fair it really really did but anyway right hand rod um, I have put out over to my right uh, right off it right off a bush I'm, I'm, I'm guessing most people when they come in this peg would fish that it was actually clay I've pulled the, the lead back and there was actually some clay deposits on the uh, on the lead so there's obviously a nice spot down there so I put one rod on that on the right just off that bush where I just mentioned and I also got two on zigs, two different, t one on about nine foot, one on about six and a half, seven foot. The six and a half, seven foot is just here in front of me, probably five wraps out, and the other one's out towards a dark tree to the right on the margin. Again, where I've been seeing fish show. But this is it, this is the, the, my last hitch efforts, if you like, to try and make it happen. But it's been an enjoyable afternoon with Rob, and we had like a teriyaki pot noodle thing. I showed you earlier, that's the pot there. But they're really really nice to be fair. How much were they mate? 99p. 99p. Nice little snack and it was um and also since I've been here Mark was over and anybody who doesn't know Mark he was at the open day he's been a mate of mine for a very very long time and he did appear in the channel a long long time ago with the car stuff uh, but he was over helping me with the Parker Bates open day and while we're on that subject because obviously this video now by the time you guys see this fish is just boshed the massive fish is just boshed to our left um but when you do see this thank you each and every one of you for coming to the big to the open day it went so well it was in excess of 140 people there i think everybody had a great day and it was really nice to see the kids around the lake catching some fish as well so thanks thanks again and also thanks for all the ambassadors for giving me all that support to me and my family it really is greatly appreciated and it was a lovely evening having some pizzas and some beverages in the evening it really was so there it is that's that um so we've had our noodles i think we're gonna go have some dinner later on and we'll see like a snack and then we had some cinnamon swells but <laughs> <laughs> So the first day we had these lovely cinnamon swell icing on it. Rob goes back, he goes, oh, I've done it, mate, I've done it. I've got our cinnamon swells, because he popped out to Lidl's earlier to get some extra bits and bobs. And he's come back with these crusty <laughs> snail um, cinnamon swell, but the dry ones, and um, he was like, nah mate it, it, it tastes like eating i won't say the word that he mentioned <laughs> um but it, i was crying for a little bit to be honest and i even ate half of his as well <laughs> i thought they were right but then i'll eat anything as you know <laughs> so that's the update for now guys sorry i haven't been very proactive on the camera today but it's been nice to really sort of get my teeth into the fishing over there especially in the other peg i really was doing everything I, was that a fish this show that was, was that? a coop one again. coop I really did do everything in my power this morning and obviously early early morning this morning and obviously the afternoon. Moved in here about an hour, two hours, no, about an hour and a half ago, something like that. Flicked the rods out and then started getting them sort of slowly in the bivvy. I've got, I'm off tomorrow around nine-ish. So that is, so four now, I've got tomorrow till nine-ish. So I've got that time to make it happen and fingers crossed. Me and Rob can nick a few before we go. I think Rob's going to stay on. Unfortunately, you're not going to see that, guys, because he doesn't uh, have the camera. Um, but I'm sure he'll keep me posted and keep an eye on our social medias. If he does catch any bangers, we'll put them up on there. So that's the update. See you in a bit. And I'm sure I'll keep you posted later on this evening. fish mate
Yeah, all right, mate, no drama. So once again, I leave Ben for two minutes just to go and put a few spots out and, well, what rod was that? Oh, the right one as well. <laughs> Been out. Unbelievable, mate. I mean, what a moment we've had together this afternoon. Flicking the OG fish out in the crumb and watching him snatch it. It's been incredible, isn't it? And it, yeah. And it was just a matter of time because I was watching them over their feed, to be honest. I mean, that's got to be what half hour that's been out. Not been out long. It's the last one to put out, wasn't it? As well. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Right, should we let you get this in? Should we? Fingers crossed, mate. Hopefully, I can get it in. Yeah. Come on then. As if. Not quite a thirty. Twenty-eight four. Did you say? Twenty-eight one. Twenty-eight one. <laughs> Lovely old dark thing. Real beautiful, beautiful fish. I mean, like, you can't grumble when they look like that. And the, the move finally paid off. The OG fish de definitely didn't let me down. But yeah, <laughs> what a fish. What an absolute beautiful, beautiful fish. It's taken a minute. <laughs> that was five wraps out not even that not even that, not even that. I, I see about the five wraps working with the pole again i just love that pole dropped it with the pole half an hour later saw him feeding on it and bang let me show you the other side quickly and then we get this one back it's got like a drop tail on it it's quite cool to be honest real cool thing and that there oh. And that there, guys, is the other side. What an absolute banger. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah, he's a lively one, but, uh, oh, mate, I'm absolutely buzzing. It paid off that move, and I know I keep saying it, but third time on it. I was gonna say third, third time on it in a 30, but just under 30, and like I said, I just can't grumble. I really can't grumble that. Hardwick just keeps on giving and giving and giving and this is just a touch, just a touch of what's in it. <laughs> thank you very much Mr Mirror. And thank you very much to Parker Bates. Get in there the OG fish. Yes! <laughs> Let's get this one back. Wow, there's just carnage everywhere going on in the swim at the moment. But we got some sauces. I didn't get the goat cheese ones, but when uh, Bob went today, he picked some up. Look at them. Goat's cheese and pesto. They're so having the same as what we had the first night. And, oh God, I need to flip them over, but I can't do that with one hand. So, pizzas and goat cheese things with a view. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh no! <laughs> Look at that, lovely. <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Burnt my lips. <laughs> but, absolute heaven in one slice. Mm. So what, the goat's cheese and pesto? Goat's cheese, I got green it wrong. pesto and tomatoes. And you got the cinnamon swells wrong? <laughs> no more. No. <laughs> Let's have it. Pudding. <laughs> Rob don't like him, so I'll take his place, no problem. Just beautiful. Come on, carp. 
Got them coot there keeps going underneath the bush. Right, well, that's lights out for me. I've got the mozzie light on down here, look. Looks lovely. Rob's just gone back to his bivvy. He's literally next door to me. Well, Peg One, it's been eventful today, mate. Thank you very much. And um, busy, busy day ahead tomorrow. I'm heading to another lake. I'm doing some filming at Windsor View Lake. I think it is tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely touch base with you in the morning. But for now, hopefully you see me in a few hours, to be honest with you. <laughs> Night for now, and I'll see you soon. Real time. been up for well I've sort of been in a sleep I thought I was up through the night I didn't get much sleep last night to be fair I had a few beeps about four o'clock and um, unfortunately I had nothing and that is a massive surprise to me I generally thought them fish was hot would hold after a bit of bait there but I've just walked round now got up this morning literally I've got up five minutes ago walked straight round had a quick look Excuse me, excuse me. Not one fish over there. Not one fish in the whole of them snags. Nothing whatsoever. Had a good look. Not one fish whatsoever. Coffee time for The battery died then. <laughs> Great start to the morning, Ben. Great start to the morning. So, coffee time for me now. I used to drink something. I need to have something, you know, wake myself up a little bit. And like I said, I've got that drive now into the sort of the London area, Windsor sort of area today. And I'm filming at a lake down there, so I'm quite looking forward to that. But I am going to have a shower, I think, here at Linear, because they've actually got shower facilities. For anybody who didn't know, I'm sure everybody does, but they have got shower facilities. I've never used them because I'm a dirty old... <laughs> but, um... Rob said apparently you put pound in or something, so or you get tokens from the shop. So I'm gonna head over there this morning and see what see what they're saying over there and go from there basically and have a shower. Join uh start the journey and the fish has just rolled right in front of me. Unless that's a coot. You know what I think happens? I reckon them fish move in throughout the day period. And they feel safe in them snags and that in the night time they've, they've obviously pulled out scan the lake and then they come back in throughout them, them day periods as well maybe just to chill i don't know i don't know but i'm just so glad i picked one up yesterday it's been a hard session every single i seem to have on hardwick in particular it seems to be a hard session but third time on here like i said and I haven't blanked yet, so I'm really, really happy with that. And I have done some session here in here when it was absolutely freezing. I remember over the winter period, me and Lou were on here and it didn't do a bite for five and a half weeks or something stupid like that. And uh, we come up and had a fish, so that was good. And if you haven't seen that video, guys, head over. And also, I had a comment on it, and that was the, that was the third fish that I had a comment on it when it was the England game. I think it was England, Germany. Um, not last year, year before maybe, but have a look at that one. That was quite good. The atmosphere at Linear. Oh, there's the alarm going off. The atmosphere at Linear is absolutely nuts. You know, when England was scoring, the whole lake was just going. <laughs> it was, it was, it was brilliant. It really, really was. So yeah, coffee time for me now. Obviously, I'll keep you the loop before I go, guys. So, sorry, it's been a bit. Whoa, I'm up this morning and boom, here we go. But it's it will be a quick one this morning. It's going to be car go shower etc i'm not going to record that so anyway i'll keep you in the keep in the loop coffee time now i'll see you in a bit oh they call him ramsey they're better than nothing that's, but yeah that is better than nothing they, mate they, they look it's all right. more oil than egg but yeah maybe too <laughs> more much butter, butter. <laughs> <laughs> no nice mate I'm, I'm very grateful very nice too so we got we've got a coffee there like i mentioned a minute ago rolls how'd you get on last night mate uh, good night's sleep again. Good night's sleep. Good yeah. night camping trip. It was amazing. Yeah, same for both, eh? <laughs> there's already people jumping in these pegs, and as you can see, there's an army of people up there now, all jumping in these pegs as they're all booked, but one and two aren't. The wind's absolutely howling down it, but they've been bucketed up already, a lovely gentleman um, with two little nippers and his wife um, are jumping in. So good luck to them when they do, when we leave. But it's looking absolutely mega, this swim, and I do think the fish will move in this behind here 
sort of midday-ish, tail end of the day like they did yesterday, and there's a good chance to nix her. But for now, back to the egg rolls. Egg rolls, baby. Egg rolls, baby. My matters carping would be proud. Drippy egg sandwich. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, put it in my roll. Oh. Don't burn my hand. Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. It's coming. Oh. Nice. Now we're done that before, mate, ain't you? <laughs> hey, the egg's bigger than the bun, but I don't care. <laughs> One hungry Ben. That egg that, the dough laying there. <laughs> this one's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna work. I've got it. That's it. Just put it in like scrambled egg. Oh, oh, lovely. Tommy Gordon won't be proud. <laughs> oh no. The pack down begins. And Rob is still playing with his eggs. <laughs> Ooh, eggy sandwich. Let's put up, mate. What's that, number three? Jeez. I'm going to turn into a rhinoceros pig. You keep feeding each other like that. That's, my end goal. That's the end goal to turn into a nosser. <laughs> Not the one beginning with a T. <laughs> right, guys, as you can see, the barrow's loaded up there, and little old Rob's behind the camera. But it's been a very, very hard, tricky session here at Hardwick and um, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be if I'm brutally honest with you. It's definitely not a B1 or B2. I, I would say it can be slightly trickier on here if the fish aren't in front of you and you've got to work with what you've got. Obviously, I'm the same as you guys. I turn up, I find a peg, I haven't got nothing roped off to me, roped up off of me or pre-baited or anything like that. I turn up and fish exactly the same as everyone else so that is this week's video myself and rob here at linear fisheries the famous linear fisheries complex on hardwick and smiths we were on hardwick sides this particular time i really do hope you've liked this video guys if you have make sure you click on that thumbs up button down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and i'll see you same time next sunday 7 30. all the best peace out